Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you one of the best fan control softwares for PC i found, and it's all completely free. This solution is much better than alternatives like IQ and software that comes with your motherboard to control your fans. It has a much cleaner interface and you'll see in the video why I think it's better. The first step will be to download the application from GitHub. I'll have this link down in the description. Once you're on the GitHub page, go ahead to the Releases tab and click the latest version. After that, click the Source Code button and dot .zip, that's the version we want to download. Go to the Downloads folder on your computer and extract the files. Once you've extracted it, take the contents of the file and cut the contents. Then go to your C drive, users, and then your user folder, and then create a new folder named fan control with no spaces. Then paste the files there. Once you've done that, go ahead and double click the updater.exe file. Once that runs, click more info and then click run anyway. After a few seconds, a command prompt should open up and the application will open once the files are downloaded. Once you see this window pop up, you can see all the RPM of your fans in your computer and the fan control software all show up. The first two settings I would change is start with windows and start minimize. This will make sure that the application runs when you turn on your computer and the fan control settings you've set in the software will run on startup. You can also change the theme of the software in the settings. Once you're on this page, you can go ahead and experiment with all the different settings. The first thing I would determine is which uh, fan number corresponds to which fan in your computer. So I would first put everything on manual control and turn everything to zero and see which one it controls one by one. If you see a, a fan that is at zero RPM, that means a fan is not plugged into that fan control header on your motherboard. You can go ahead and click the three dots in the corner and click the high checkbox. Once that's hidden, you can also configure fan curves and things like that. Once you've determined which fan this corresponds to in your case, you can go ahead and rename on the top by just double clicking the name bar. To get access to even more settings and fan curves, click the little plus symbol in the right bottom corner. I would first get started with a linear fan curve, so click that. Then it will ask you to select a temperature source. So I'm going to make this flint fan curve for my all-in-one liquid cooler for my CPU. So I would select the CPU core temperature first. Then at the bottom we'll see some more settings for minimum temperature and maximum temperatures, the fan speed, and the response time. You can experiment with those and see which fits your needs the best. Once you've dialed in all the settings, click the three dots in the corner of each of the cards and make sure manual control is unchecked. Then click fan curve and then select the linear fan curve. After that, you're good to go. You can make as many of these fan curves as you like, and you can experiment with the rest of the settings in the software. And that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you have any questions, comment down below.